Hello guys, it's Modern Man MTG here, and today we're going to be playing some Mono Red Legacy Burn. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get uh, the deck in the beginning like I do, do from uh, many of my videos. Um, unfortunately, it is hard to find Legacy games sometimes, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this game right here. I would like to play first. This hand seems pretty good. We got turn one Goblin Guy, turn two Eidolon, turn three Sulfur Vortex. It's normally a pretty good keep. Go ahead and play the wooded foothills, crack the foothills. Um, the reason I'm playing and cracking my foothills so aggressively is I really don't need more than three lands very often. So I want to limit the, the number of chances I have to draw a land. Oh, it seems to be that we're playing a mirror match. I attacked with my goblin guide and revealed their goblin guide. Oh, they play their goblin guide. Reveal Chain Lightning. Well, I'm going to attack with my Goblin Guide. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. I hear some voice in the background. Um, as I'm doing with most of my videos now, I like to point out that I'm um, recording in a college dorm room, so I can't really control the background noise. So if you hear anything in the back, I apologize. Um, can't really control it, as I said. But I will play my idol on here. Something that I can control. Put a place of foothills. Cracks their foothills. My opponent is being very aggressive with their life total here. They playing their idol on too? No, the Searing Blade. Okay, so that's not bad. That's pretty good for the opponent. They fall to 12. I fall to 14. This price of progress looks pretty bad in my hand. Real Fire Blast. I take two and fall to 12. My opponent's at a virtual seven or five because I have Fire Blast and Chain Lightning. So we're going to play the Mountain, go to combat, tackle Goblin Guide, reveal an opponent's Fire Blast. Okay, this game is getting ridiculous. Opponent falls to 10. I'm debating if I want to play Sulfur Vortex, and I think I do. Go ahead and play the Sulfur Vortex for some past turn. Opponent falls from the Vortex. Opponent plays Badlands. Plays Swift Spear. Cast Chain Lightning. Fall to 9. Actually, I think I'm dead. Yeah, if they fire blast me, I'm dead. Anyways. Rift Bolt, that's fine. Two, six. The Strange Lightning was a Lightning Bolt. We won the game. And we're going to go ahead and go to game two here. Um, I lost my pony, just had better cards. And let's see how it goes. So against the mirror match, in the mirror match rather, I probably want Searing Blaze. Grim Lava Mancer seems all right. I know I don't want Price of Progress. Probably don't want Sulfur Vortexes. Um, maybe I want to cut the Bedlam Reveler as well. So I can bring in another Exquisite Firecraft. And like two Skull Cracks. But move them over here and keep the Bedlam Reveler, I guess. I'm going to try it like this. I've never actually played this matchup before, the mirror match. His is a little different than mine. He has main deck Searing Blazes. I do not. Um, I think that my version is a little more geared to beating the Miracles deck. I would like to play first. I have one land, Lava Spike, Chain Lightning. This hand would be good if like this Bedlam Reveler was the land. I'd probably keep it. Uh, I have to mull in, I think. This hand seems pretty good. I'll go ahead and keep. I don't want it doesn't matter. Because I'm cracking a fletch anyways. Grab a mountain. 
Suspend Rift Bolt, pass turn. Opponent plays their mountain. Suspends Rift Bolt as well. When uh, Rift Bolt my opponent's face. Draw another Chain Lightning, which is good for us. So we will suspend another Rift Bolt. Crack another fetch. Grab a mountain. Go ahead and chain lightning the opponent. The reason I'm being so aggressive with my burn spells is because um, I'm in a race right now, and my opponent has more cards than me, which generally does not mean, or generally means that I'm not going to win the race. So I'm just trying to put as much pressure on my opponent as I can. But crack the land, dragon's claw. Did not see that coming. I'm not going to lie. So now I kind of wish I, if I win this game, I'll probably end up bringing um, Smash the Smithereens in. Opponent falls to 11. Draw another Lightning Bolt. So I have three, four, five, six, seven points of burn in my hand. Essentially with the Dragon's Claw. So we're just going to hold off on it for now. See what the opponent does. Opponent casts a Swift Spear. Ah, Dragon's Claw works for them. That's awkward. Lava spikes me as well. Uh, here I think I have to bolt the Swift Spear. Unfortunately for us. I take three and fall to 12. I will play my Swift Spear. Chain Lightning the opponent. Attack the opponent. 4 2, pass turn. Opponent has a Grim Lava Mancer. I'm assuming they also have a Searing Blaze. Which is bad for us. Nope, they have a chain lightning. We also have a lava spike. Draw another fire blast, which is completely unplayable, unfortunately for us. I'm going to cast a Chain Lightning. I would actually like to pay red to copy the Chain Lightning. And I'll throw it at the Grim Lava Mancer. Opponent's going to Lava Mancer me instead of copying their Chain Lightning. Makes sense. I guess. Yeah. Dragon's Claw is really good apparently in the Mirror Match. I remember when this card was standard in 10th edition. Card was the bee's knees then, too. I remember having a hard time trying to find them at my local gaming store. Dragon's Claws, I needed a set for them, a set of them. When it passes their turn, I'm going to crack a Bloodstained Mire. Doesn't really matter. Grab a Mountain. Play a Wooden Foothills, pass turn. Now I have six damage. Fire Blast. I'm getting there, guys. No need to worry. I'm going to cast Price of Progress. I'm going to crack my Fetch in response. Surprised my opponent didn't take that out against me. Grab a mountain. Fire blast me. I'm going to fire blast the opponent. And that does it. We lost. Unfortunately for us, my opponent had Dragon's Claw. Um, I actually didn't see that card coming, unfortunately for us.
Um, and if you guys want to see more, more legacy, go ahead and let me know down below. Remember to like and comment on the video, any suggestions you have. Um, I'm not familiar enough with Legacy, so maybe I should have brought the Smash Some Smithereens to blow up the Dragon's Claw. I should have seen it coming, maybe. Uh, also, what I want you guys to do for me is comment down below any um, budget Legacy decks you guys know of. And I'd probably uh, be interested in building something like those. Um, and as always, guys, I hope you have a good day and a good night. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.